So now I'm back to the garage for my uh, FLH, family FLH. It's a big shame, even my wife said, go and fix that blood FLH, you know, how, how, how can you, you know, fuck around so long? Go and fix it. I said, okay, okay, I'm trying to do my best now. It's too cold and little motivation. Anyways, so what I'm having here, so gearbox is in place, it's not tightened and um, yeah now i'm trying to big mess around of course i'm playing with the with the inner primary what i have here is that i have a new stuff it's hand shifter and uh, i had before so many solenoids and they always been a problem for me always and few times I even almost uh, burned my my motorcycle because the solenoid stuck the the power is there so the power cable was red hot and start burning you know so it, it can it can be costly so I said why on earth and uh, I just bought this it's expensive but it's nice again it was a bit uh, problematical to put it on because here it's different angles or whatever angles or whatever it was biting and didn't want to work smoothly so i had to adjust to, to grind it a little bit there and to bend it so i found a sweet spot now it works just perfect also i have a starter here which is uh, from uh, spike i guess and it's it's a bit uh, stronger than the standard because with the standard I I had problems before with my Evo to crank it and uh, with this it has some reductor more power in it. it's uh, smaller but has more power you know so I had no problem with that so I also placed it in so that uh, I can I, I will try to put everything in one go also change a new bearing with my uh, newly acquired uh, press which I'm very happy with yeah so again the biggest problem with why I don't like this uh, bloody inner primary is uh, not inner but uh, wet primary is because it's leaking you know it's I don't know how to fix it it's it's leaking uh, whatever you do in this place always so so I will try to play with different kind of uh, silicone or gas uh, liquid gaskets to see how it goes. Yeah. All right, so it does not fit like this together with the starter. Maybe I'm a dummy, but uh, it's not fitting. Uh, simply, uh, it goes so down and I have to lift it and then uh, uh, shaft does not allow ally with, the, with the hole and I simply cannot fit it. So I have either to remove this and then to put it from other side that's very it's nasty work or i have to maybe to rem because i'm missing maybe uh, small things you know it's, it's supposed to go quickly but it doesn't go you know those guys who work in the garage you know okay so my idea first to put a starter on the inner primary and then squeeze it in went bananas it was impossible uh, in the beginning i thought that the, the tank oil tank is uh, is uh, killing too much space and i cannot squeeze it in so i removed the oil and i removed the tank the rem tank removal is a separate story on this harley, harley designers who designed uh, these uh, oil tank fittings that's aftermarket, of course, Hoshur, but uh, even in with the original, uh, these uh, l had little brains, you know, designers. It's, I don't know why it was so complicated, you know. It's supposed to build the way that you could put in and out uh, the oil tank both directions easily, maybe mounting on three, four bolts, and that's it. Now, 
it's only one direction and the pri inner primary has to be off and and and, uh, and starter has to be off uh, nightmare but okay that's 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 a funny story of this uh, the serious story is that um, yesterday i mounted all i put uh, i tightened the balls in all in place of course the fitting fit was very tight i had to use the 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 plastic hammer you know to pu to put it in and when i tighten all balls i noticed that the the sh shaft the sh uh, this shaft was not spinning so freely anymore so I thought that, okay, that's binding somewhere, you know, that's not good. And I started looking, uh, I, I loosened it, all the bolts, loosened it. And what I found was that, I don't know if you will see it, but the gearbox now, when it's all loosened, gap there between the plate and the gearbox is about 1.5 millimeters now. So actually, the inner primary lifted when I squeeze it, lifted all the gearbox up. And if I tighten the gearbox down, so it start pushing the axe down and the axe is not spinning so freely anymore. That's my issue at the moment. And uh, I don't know how it was before, before, because before I had another engine and it had no problem, but I had to change the inner primary supporting uh, uh, bearing because it was damaged so that was maybe a reason another thing why i suddenly started you know hesitating all about was that this is a fifth fifth uh, bolt here comes into the gearbox and the hole below is not aligning with the hole in the gearbox that means that i cannot squeeze the bolt I will try maybe to show you if it is possible I don't know so you see I guess you can see it yeah and it was not a case and even now you can see the gap there is about almost two millimeters now so it's something wrong with this plate I, I will try to change the plate now I ha this is aluminium Vulcan made I have another plate I will try to play another place another plate and see how it goes all right i found out the problem why this fifth bolt is not uh, getting into the gearbox my plate is offset one fourth of the inch offset and that's it moved all the gearbox towards uh, uh towards here to the to the, towards uh, primary it was used because uh, when i bought this bike it had um, a wider t uh, tire from uh, fat boy so they used they did it on purpose you know to move a little bit so that the chain does not hit the tire of the okay so this uh, plate original below aluminium from vulcan was uh, yeah one fourth of the inch offset so i have this uh, from my open primary uh, the plate so i will use it as um, i don't know what's any a matrix or just uh, i will use it to, to drill the holes new holes on the aluminium and then i will weld the 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 old holes i you can ask why I, I don't use this uh, plate because but this i have a plan for uh, my another chopper to, with the open primary because this is adjustable so i don't want to use this for uh, for a family i will try to reuse another i looked at the catalog it's about 40 euros delivered but uh, why on earth maybe i can save these 40 euros and i and i can fix adjust the old one Well, 
I'm not a big fan of uh, welding aluminium because uh, I don't have a big experience. Uh, every time I need to remember again, you know, how to do it. But anyways, uh, the settings and all the time changing and uh, I cannot find the best setting for me. But anyways, so I will still try to weld a little bit. So here you are. I will heat it now a bit. So, yeah, I, I believe it's it's quite a thick uh, metal aluminium, you know. So, yeah, I don't need to teach you how to do that shit, you know. I try to clean a little bit, you know, but it's not a precision uh, welding. It's just to fill up the holes, you know so that uh, it doesn't allow uh, the bolt you know to go to the old uh, hole you know. So, so I filled up these uh, holes with the uh, aluminium, how to say it, so just, uh, yeah, so that the bolt has a better base, how to say, and doesn't move. Actually, it's not welded, you know, it's just filled up. So I think this way I, I manage my problem. So I have, I don't need to wait now for uh, spare parts, which will take a three, four days. I have a free uh, Sunday and I saved about 40 euros. Let's see how it fits on a bike. Yeah, cool, I'm happy. This is what, what does it mean, you know, to sleep and think about the choppers. You got the good ideas during the night. All right, so, uh, Finally, after uh, five times pulling out the uh, gearbox and uh, trying to align all together, it's there. So it works. Yeah, it, 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 this one works. Tension is okay. So continuing, continuing, not so much left. The biggest issue was that when I used to tighten it all, the main shaft of the gearbox was not uh, spinning freely so it was binding somewhere but i i had to to trim a little bit of the make a bigger holes for uh, uh so that it, the gearbox has more uh, how to say space to move so finally it found the place where it's freely st stands you know it's all good now all right so Family fillage is more or less done. I'm left only to fill up uh, oils. I don't do that now because it's still winter and uh, I will do it in the spring. Yeah, so my wife will be now very happy. Because there will be no strange sounds from the dry clutch and her feet will be safe i need just to mount uh, the rear foot pegs for her and look here i have a starter hand starter here i think it looks like very organic here i was thinking maybe to 
to get these edges away, you know, to make it more smooth look, but I think it's okay. There's no problem with that. Yeah, and my mounting bracket here was okay. The stand, kickstand fits perfectly. Yeah, and also I got a windshield from my good buddy Arunas. So it was just cracked. I, I, I glue it with epoxy. And also I put the decals electric light. So now it's a full full style, how to say. Yeah. So that's it for now. In the springtime I will start it. See how it runs. Hope all will be okay.